Okay, you guys, welcome back. We're going to do part two of Mixed Media Art with Stumperia. Okay, and we're doing cream pasta comparison to the pasta scultura to the modeling paste. Um, all right, let's get started on this. Um, as we mentioned before, the cream paste is really marshmallow feeling. It feels like foam when it's dried. It's really light and soft. Okay. Um, I showed you these before. There were a couple of the pictures from the ones I've done before. Okay. I went ahead and unmolded these ahead of time so that we didn't have to do it on video camera because I know you guys have not a lot of time. So I went ahead and unmolded them, but I'll show you because I keep them stored in here when I'm not using them. This is the one from Pasta Sculptura. I don't know if you can see the texture on here, but it's really grainy. Kind of a little bit gritty like sand. It's more like a clay or harder clay once it dries. Uh, when it comes out of the mold, it looks very nice. You can use it. It's not as flexible as a cream paste is. It's not as marshmallowy. It's a little bit stiffer in texture. Okay. That's the pasta sculptura that is from Semperia K3P52. The next one we're going to be visiting is the modeling paste, or as we say in German, modelage. Uh, that is the K3P3W. That's the white version of it. And here, I'll show you, as it dried, it started to get little holes in there. Can you see that okay? Yeah, it was a little bit strange. But yeah, I just wanted to show that to you a close-up. Um, we'll go ahead and unmold this one. This one feels more like a plasticky rubber versus a cream paste. This one is more limp, has a little bit more play on it. It's a little bit heavier. The texture on it is also very nice. You can see that real well. Okay. I store mine in here on the texture plates when I'm not using them so they keep their shape. Um, I keep them in my Tim Holtz binder. This was the modeling paste, the white one. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and do the cream paste. This one I had to do twice. I started unmolding it for the video ahead of time so we didn't have to waste all the time unmolding it. Well, I don't know what happened there, but we had a little bit of an accident. Don't throw that away, though. You can still use it in your book or what are you planning on doing with it. But let's go ahead and unmold this one. You just want to go all the way around the edges here. I haven't unmolded this one yet, so you can see firsthand what it's going to be like. You're going to go ahead and kind of peel all this off here. Well, not kind of do it. You need to peel it off here. Sorry. All right. And you can see when it's off because it starts to pull back. You need to go on all four edges. And let's go ahead and start unmolding this one. All right, this is first hand with the texture ones with the cream paste. I had to make this a second time because, like I said, I had the hole in it. So when I was getting ready to prep this video for you guys, I realized it. The day that I did it, it was 105 degrees over here in New Mexico. So, needless to say, I put this outside. It was dry in two hours. Normally, it takes 24 hours for these to dry. And it was ready to go. But I gave it an extra day just in case so we didn't have any bloopers. I really love the cream paste. That one is my favorite. It shows every detail. It's light, soft. It feels more like a rubbery foam. and it's. I love to play with it. You could just wrinkle it up. It comes right back to shape. I like this one the best. That is a cream paste from Stamperia. That is K3P53. And again, here's a close up of it. Okay, and it feels like a foam. Um, I did some more experiments while I was making this video. I got ahead and got some of these little candy things, you know, like they make fondue it out for cakes. On one of them, I went ahead and did just the cream paste. 
It's light and fluffy. It turned out really pretty. I don't know if you can see that okay. This is the rose one from the fondant. I got it from Amazon. This one here is done with the modeling paste. It's got a nice form to it. Great for mixed media. Then I decided to try some color. So on this one I did the cream paste and the Sculpture Tibet together because I didn't trust that one in my fondant molds because of the sandy texture. <clears throat> this one dried real well too. Um, I was practicing making videos here and I accidentally cracked this one. It is a little bit more fragile when you put the Sculpture in there. And then here is a lace ribbon I made. I really enjoyed working with these pastes. They worked out real well. Um, if you guys enjoyed these videos, please make sure you do subscribe to my videos so I can keep making more that I know you like them. Um, I want to show you my journal page that I made recently with the cream paste, and I really enjoyed working with it. Let me grab that over here for you. So this is my art journal I made. I can zoom in on it with the camera for you when I get this going here. I'm going to put this down. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. Here I took one of my die, um, die cut things, the steel ruled ones. It was the big cog gear and I went ahead and cut that one out and put it around this clock. It was so awesome. And then here I took some leftover parts from that same one because you remember these texture plates are pretty big. I took it on here and here. I used Finbar's colors with them and they turned out really great. They're still flexible on my page as well. I can still close my book. Um, but here I'll give you a close up on those so you can see it. Hope you guys can see that okay. They cut out real good. They didn't even get squished. And they still keep their form. They're not really thick at all. You can see from a side angle. So I can still close my book if I need be. I'll show you. See, my book's closed and it's not that thick. So if you guys want to use these in your journal pages, go for it. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, thank you for watching my video. Um, this week I'll be working on some book boxes to hold some paintbrushes. So if you guys want to check back and subscribe to my channel, you guys can take advantage of looking at my book box paintbrush holder. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, give thumbs up.